What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, your boy's about to get a much needed haircut. You're probably wondering, how the hell are you getting a haircut, Ross? All the barber shops are closed because of the quarantine. Well, your boy knows somebody. And I'm about to make sure that I come back looking much fresher than I am right now. I'm not even gonna take the do-rag off. I don't even wanna lose subscribers because I'm looking rough. This is just one of those type of situations where when you know somebody, you know somebody, and they're able to help you out during these tough times. Boys out here looking scruffy. I'm looking a little bit scruffy, so I gotta re-up. So you're gonna see the before and the after. Once I pull up, I can't really show you the exact location because you know what I'm saying? It's his personal place. But other than that, I'm about to check it out and I'll uh, see y'all in a few. Peace. I want to ask y'all a question, man. Quick question. So, how y'all uh, being affected by these quarantine times that we live in, man? Like, I know I'm in a fortunate situation where I'm able to get a haircut, you know, because I know somebody personally. But how y'all managing it for those who like don't know your barber on that type of level personally and you know what I'm saying how y'all going about it? Are y'all cutting your own hair? If you're in a relationship, you let your significant other cut your hair, like what's happening, man? Cause just like women like to get their hair done, and I know there's a lot of women out there that are struggling right now to get their hair done, men like to get their hair cut. It's like you, you know, when it comes to just looking presentable and feeling good about yourself, them haircuts come in clutch. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to know, comment down below, how are y'all, you know, getting around this situation? Like I said, me, I'm in a fortunate situation because I know somebody personally. Now, before I, you know, start getting my hair cut by my homie, I was actually getting my hair cut at this barber shop. Now, I know for a fact, if that was the case, the shop would be, you know, well, the shop is probably closed right now. So I definitely wouldn't be getting anything, you know what I'm saying, haircut wise. Like, I'd be struggling right now. So it's good that I, you know, I'm in that situation. So I just want to know how are y'all getting around this whole quarantine situation that we're dealing with? Because I know some people, they're out there. They, they wolfing it right now, man. They they got the, the hair looking like they've been on a, an island for at least 12 months. And we've only been quarantining for about a couple months, if that. You feel me? So, I just want to know how y'all, you know, trying to maneuver through this crazy situation that we're in. So, I should not be doing this while I'm driving. I just wanted to make a quick, quick little video before I get to my destination. So, I'll check y'all in the field. The impromptu shop, aka the homie's crib. Shout out to the homie, you know what I'm saying? Gonna be having me looking somewhat presentable in these streets, in these quarantine streets. <laughs> no gloves, no love. <laughs> Tell them the truth, man. Some people, <clears throat> they, you know what I'm saying, they in unfortunate situations. Boys be hitting me up on IG. How the hell you getting your hair cut? What? Like, I'm out here struggling. Hot, hot, hot. What, what's going on? I'm like, hey, man, I just, you know, you know somebody, you know somebody. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what to tell you, bro. I'm sorry, you know. So, that's, this is the mystery right here. If y'all want to know, when your boys start posting those depth to field shots with the part on the side, it's him. You know what I'm saying? And my sidekick, Grayson. <laughs> Ask that shit again, bro. So, have you ever been cheated on mm -hmm. by another female? Like, your female cheated on you with another female? No. I actually have not uh, experienced that. I don't know if I was to, how I would feel about it. I, I'm with somebody else. I'd actually feel probably a little bit worse than if she was to cheat on me with like another guy. But a whole nother chick, bro. Like, I'm gonna feel some type of way about myself as a man. Like, damn, right. bro. Like, what? So, what, all right, would it be worse if she's like a stud or is she like oh. a feminine female? Ah. Oh. Cause you know what go down at these little passion parties, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 Yeah, for those who don't know, Google it. But uh, <laughs> a stud, 
The only reason I would feel offended by if it was like a stud, only because basically dating, a, you know, you fucking with somebody that's like you know, like a guy. You feel me? So it'd be like, bro, you might as well just cheat on me with a guy. You feel me? Like if you gonna, you already halfway there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just a couple of testosterone pills and bam, you there. You know, but. I probably feel a little bit worse if it was a guy or a stud. Now, if it's a, a chick, uh, if it's if it's a chick, like a, a feminine chick, but she bad though. What if she bad? Like, uh, I'm like still, I'm, I'm gonna be more mad. Like, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, like, bro, you're, I'm you like, why you, what's going on? Why you invite me? You could have said something. Yeah. Like, hey, you know, uh, I'm feeling a little froggy tonight. Let's jump. And I would have jumped. <laughs> how how we jumping, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. That's that's something that you know I definitely would have would have been a part of the fact that we're having this conversation with a, uh, a toddler yeah. in the room. I think they can't understand what we're talking yeah. about. But nah, I don't know, man. I I couldn't do it. I I feel some type of way. We we would definitely have some some discussions when she came back home. I'm definitely sitting in the living room with the lights off until I hear that. Yeah. Turn on. Where have you been? Uh, I was hanging with my girls. Mm, you was hanging with your girls, huh? That's crazy. Cause I could have sworn you was just hanging with your girls earlier. Yeah, y'all been hanging a lot lately. Like, if yeah. I play the game too long, we get it. Yeah, so what's what's going on? The lady I haven't even met your, your lady friend. Like, what's which, which friend is this? Yeah, <laughs> which friend is this? I haven't met this person. Like, what's going on here? Do I need to head to the laundry <laughs> matter <or? laughs> Been there for like, I don't know. Five, six hours now. What's what's happening over there? There ain't that much girl talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? I'm telling you, y'all start drinking it. Mm -hmm. and next thing you know, you blank, blame it on the alcohol. Mm -hmm. You trying to call up Pepper in or what? So she was built like Phineas' head. Bro, that's horrible. Grayson, get your ass from over here. There we okay, go. There we go. Um, <laughs> fix my shit. Um, <laughs> No, don't call me, cause I ain't cutting everybody out. There you go. Appreciate that, bro. <laughs> See you, little man. Oh, you not gonna let me leave? Oh, all right. Uh, shout out to the homie Anthony. I'ma put his Instagram down in the uh, description below. Uh, check out his page, man. He, uh, He's nice with the cut, so if y'all looking for a cut in the Houston area when everything opens back up, then uh, hit my boy up, man. But uh, right now, I'm actually about to go check out this place to get some food, because I'm actually hungry, and I want to, you know what I'm saying, try this food out. Alright, so yeah, he... He got me looking right, you know what I'm saying? He got the beard lined up, you feel me? Like I'm I'm liking the look, you feel me? Like it's it's looking looking real crisp, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling it. But I'm about to go check out this food spot. Your boy, you know, feeling good, feeling fresh, so I gotta eat something nice. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me show y'all. This place right here, waiting for it to focus in. Right here. Twisted grilled cheese, man. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Like, oh, I don't even eat, like, eat grilled cheese like that, but that, that looks delicious, man. So, I'm about to see what they talking about, man. Hit them up. Oh, this looks good. This looks, mmm. Got to see what they, man, my stomach is growling just looking at this. So, about to hit them up, see what they talking about. Try to get some food to go, and uh, we'll go from there, man. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling good now. I feel like I'm brand new, man. Got the chop beard lined up. I'm I'm ready to start my day, and uh, yeah. So, see y'all in a few. Woo! What's good, y'all? So I got the food. I'm about to check it out. We about to check it out together. See how it looks. I'm sweating right now because it's it's hot as hell. It just got hot all of a sudden. All right, let's check this out, man. Let's let's look at this. Oh, okay. Oh man. Ooh. Oh. Oh my God. Uh. Oh yeah. Okay. I got to put it down because I'm gonna want to eat it. Uh. I believe the one I got 
was the one, uh, the six pepperoni. That's the one I just looked at, and then I got my mom the buffalo chicken. I'm not even about to touch my mom's, because, to be honest with you, I'm going to want to eat both of them. They, they look so good. Um, I actually found this place on Instagram. It was in my feed. I like the food look good. I followed them, and I had to pull up, because I was on this side of town. So, I'm about to indulge when I get to the crib, but I just wanted to do a little vlog, man. I like the camera. Just kind of test out this camera vlog style you feel me figure out you know the lighting and all the other stuff and uh just to show y'all boys you know what i'm saying your boys stay with the cuts you know what i'm saying once again i'm sorry for everybody that isn't able to get a cut you know what i'm saying right now um uh, I, I don't know what to tell you just uh you know may want to hit up some youtube videos and uh try to you know figure something out if possible or wear a hat Granted, you know, I mean, it's it's not really too bad because nobody can really go out anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you guys are managing out there. Hopefully, you guys are being safe out there. But I appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'm hot as fuck. I'm sweating right now. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.